It's Saturday, January 22nd, 2011. This is it. The day that Tammy would bid on some of the finest cars of the entire auction. The Big Tent in Scottsdale, Arizona has become the place to be every January as the famed Barrett Jackson auction block once again comes alive. When the collector car world comes to Scottsdale, dreams do indeed come true for many a car guy and gal. But the best part of all is that in the mere blink of an eye, and with every drop of the gavel, yet another unforgettable memory is made. Saturdays are always exciting because they always have some um, surprise in store for people or whatever, and it's exciting for me because that's the car I came for was the Mercury, so going to come in uh, guns blazing. <laughs> Today is Saturday, prime time at Barrett Jackson, and that means the very best cars will cross the block. Tammy had not won Alan Jackson's amphibian, and the controversy surrounding the JFK ambulance made her unsure of whether or not she wanted to bid on it. But the beautiful green 1950 Mercury grew even more enticing to Tammy. Who could blame her? Wasabi is a showstopper. With striking color and alluring lines, this work of art attracted a perpetual flock of admiration. My name is Johnny Vegas. Uh, I work with an outfit of High Speed Rods and Customs. We're out of Tucson, Arizona. This car was originally chopped by Dick Dean. And uh, he used to do all the chops for Barris back in the day. It took about a year and a half building the car. This is just a really clean car all the way throughout. The white interior just kind of really goes with the wasabi type color. That's what I named it. Gets more looks than any car that I've ever designed. Probably because of the color and just the perfect chop on this car. Gene Winfield is my absolute idol. First off, I mean, this is why I tried so hard to get that actual cue of his pearls that he does. What this is is a tri-stage base coat by PPG. And what I did was I took painstaking hours of just sitting there doing color samples of making this color pop. You have that reflection of that white hue that pops off of this car. I had a great time building it, and whoever gets this car is just gonna be the luckiest person on earth, because I would love to own the car. <laughs> the first time I saw the Wasabi Mercury, you could see it from like rows away. It glows, it's so striking and beautiful in the paint and just, you know, the body, how it's just so like bubbly and like almost fat in places and so pretty. <laughs> Among all those beautiful cars, it stood out. It's so pretty and striking and gorgeous that I could see immediately that she would want it and why this would be, you know, the special Mercury she's been waiting for. Excitement continued to build throughout the day. By evening, thousands of people, both fans and bidders alike, had packed into the main auction tent. The most anticipated sale of the entire week was about to take place. The 1963 Battleship Gray Pontiac Naval Ambulance. Today is something very special all on its own. The 40th annual Barrett Jackson, we have a tremendously diverse docket of cars, including one you've probably read about in the newspapers or seen on TV. Right now it looks like it might be the star of the show. It's a 1963 Pontiac Naval Ambulance purported by its consigner to be the car that carried the coffin of the late President John F. Kennedy back in 1963. What will the bidders think of it? Well, that's just one of the stories we're about to answer. The solemn ambulance made its procession from the staging area to the auction block. Both the consigner and Steve Davis presented a collection of paperwork, letters, and clues concerning the history of the ambulance. We then had some of our law enforcement friends help us. We were able to find the hidden VIN on the chassis, which absolutely matches everything else that we had in this chain of ownership. The crowd sat silently as news footage from 1963 was played on the big screen. You bid based on what you feel that evidence represents. After all the available information had been presented, Barrett Jackson did their job. Very efficient, and with the utmost respect, this historical car was sold to the highest bidder. For reasons unknown, Tammy had chosen not to bid on the 1963 Pontiac Bonneville Ambulance. This meant that all her resources would be aimed at winning Wasabi, the 1950 Mercury. 
Our cameras followed the Green Machine journey from show floor to lineup to staging and ultimately onto the block. It was just after midnight when Wasabi hit the block. Johnny Vegas sat in the driver's seat, enjoying some final moments with the vehicle he had poured his soul into. When bidding started, the auction hall was about half full, but one thing was certain, several serious bidders were in attendance, and that meant that Tammy would have to fight to get her car. The price rose and the energy peaked. When the gavel fell, Tammy owned her 1950 Mercury. But Tammy had yet another surprise up her sleeve. Earlier that day, the JFK ambulance auction had closed. Tammy had considered bidding, but held back. Tammy later decided that she did in fact want the ambulance for her museum. So, she made the owner an offer, which they accepted. Barrett Jackson Scottsdale is an experience that will never be forgotten. When everything was said and done, Tammy's shopping cart included some of the most amazing and unique vehicles of the entire auction. The history, the mystery, the masterpiece.